again this is all i must tv where you learn mathematics every day and my name is jakes anemo if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe because we learn mathematics every day here all right and when you subscribe turn on the bell notification button to get notified whenever we drop a new video okay now we have a challenge on logarithm the question says evaluate evaluate three log bracket open root 2 plus s close bracket this 5 plus log bracket open root 2 minus s close bracket this 5 minus 3 or equal to log bracket open root 4 minus x square close bracket this 5 okay how do we evaluate this or what would be the value of x so from here x is equal to what Let's take our selection from here. Selection. Okay. So we put down our equation, which says, yeah, although very long, but uh, we're going to handle it. Bracket root 2 my plus x, close bracket, base 5, there, yeah, plus lug your bracket root 2 minus x, close bracket, base 5 minus 3 or equal to your log a bracket open root 4 minus x r squared close bracket b is 5. okay remember one thing we do here is to introduce log to b is 5 to our uh, dix uh, expression here now to this 3 here okay so if we do that we um suck up to the same base rule of logarithm we say that the log of any number base itself is 1. So if we apply that here, so we're going to have here to be 3 times 1. Okay? And 3 times 1 will still give us 3. And so the whole of this will give us here 3 log. Here we have here bracket root 2 plus x close bracket base 5 plus log your base 5 into your root. 2 minus s close bracket minus 3 log 5 b is 5 equal to log uh, bracket root 4 minus x to the power of 2 close bracket uh, b is 5. Okay, so we can take this to this side, take this to this power according to the power law of logarithm. Which says that if you have your log um, p to the power of k, they said move this k back. So this is going to give us k log p. Okay? Alright, so if we apply this law, we're going to have this to be, yeah, we're going to give us log, yeah, bracket root 2 plus x out to the power of 3, then base 5 plus log. Here yeah, we have bracket root 2 minus x close bracket base 5. There minus, here yeah, we're going to have here log 5 to the power of 3 base 5 or equal to log your yeah, root 4 minus x or squared close bracket or uh, to base 5. Okay, very simple. All right, so. Let's go again. We apply the multiplication and division law of logarithm to the whole of this side. Okay, so if we do that, then this will give us here log. Oh, sorry, I'm using a mini board. So we have here base 5. This will give us here um, root 2 plus x out to the power of 3 okay good then times this which is bracket root 2 minus x close bracket all right all over the whole of this which is all over 5 to the power of 3 all into our square bracket okay everything equal to log here we have root 
4 minus x to the power of 2 close bracket or this 5. And according to the law of logarithm again, these we cancel these because we have equality side and they are having the same base. So if the strike card, this expression will now become to let you raise the top. So from here, if you look at this, we're going to have this to be bracket the square root of 2 plus x r to the power of 3, okay, times um, bracket root 2 minus x close bracket all over 5 to the power of 3 will give us 1, 2, 5 equal to the square root bracket 4 minus x squared. Okay, so we can cross multiply to eliminate this 125. If we do that, we're going to have this to be the square root of 2 plus x close bracket to the power of 3 dot bracket root your 2 minus x, okay, close bracket, or uh, equal to your 1, 2, 5 bracket root 4 minus x x to the power of 2. All right. 4 minus x squared can be expressed as your 2 to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 2. So we cannot apply difference of 2 squared to this other side. Okay. So if we do that, this now implies bracket root 2 plus x up to the power of 3 into your root 2 minus x close bracket equal to the 1, 2, 5 or into a square bracket of root 2 minus x close bracket bracket root 2 plus x close bracket. Okay, now if you watch carefully, we are having 2 minus x, we are having root 2 minus x on this other side. So Dix, we go with Dix. Then we have 2 plus x, 3 of it here. We have 1 of it here. So Dix, we go with 1 from here. So here, we are still left with your root 2 plus x all to the power of 2 or equal to 1, 2, 5. Okay. So from here, let's proceed here. Okay, and let's use here. Okay, so question implies yeah, we are having a square root. We are having a we're having a square root here, we are having a square here. So this and this will leave. So automatically we are now left with two plus x equal to one, two, five. We collect our light ends, x is equal to one, two, five minus two. So therefore, x is equal to 1, 2, uh, 3. Okay, that is the solution to this. But I have a challenge here. I have an issue with this. If you plug the value of x into this expression here, it's going to make this to give us an imaginary root. And at the same time, it's going to give us an imaginary root too. Okay, from this system. In other words, I'm having issue with this uh, uh, solution. This equation here does not have real root. Okay, but I brought this question to also uh, see the view of other uh, great mathematicians all over the world. Okay, other great brains. Okay, all over the world. So if you have a better solution to Dix, kindly drop it in the comment section so that we can equally learn from you too. Okay, where we learn mathematics and here we strike a win-win situation. I learn from you, you learn from me. Okay. Thanks for always being there.